Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 53 of our Classic Career Survival Series. Today we're going to be continuing on with our fishing slash recovery boat and um, we're going to be starting off by fixing the power issue that we're having last episode and then we're going to be doing a little bit of interior work and get ready to put the nets on. Um, but anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the workbench. Um, I've been mucking around this thing a little bit and I'll show you what we're going to do. Um, I haven't done it yet. Um, we're going to have eight of these turbines. That should be enough to power four uh, medium motors with just a single generator. Um, ideally, I'd like to unlock large um, generators, but I don't have enough points. Um, yeah, <laughs> so we'll just make do with what we got, but that's fine. Um, so we're going to get rid of all of these. Uh, we're going to get rid of all of that as well, unfortunately. And that's going to go too. <laughs> um, so what we'll do, so we've got all these here. So we're going to go like this. Um, we're going to go eight along like so. Two, four, six, and eight. So that should be fine. Hopefully that's enough to power the um, batteries so they hold enough charge. Um, so what do we got? We got our steam in up here. Still steam out. So steam in's on the bottom now. All oh, right. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's get our pipes out and we're going to connect all of this together. Um, since we already mucked around this last episode, I don't want to spend too much time playing around with this, but we've got to do what we've got to do. Um, so we'll grab a cross piece. We're going to try and fill in all of this area here. So that should link them all up together, I'm pretty sure. We'll just make sure it's the same. Steam in, steam in. Yeah, should be all good. All right, so we'll grab some straight pipes now and connect all of these together. So we'll go all the way along like something like that. Um, we'll get rid of that though. Um, so steam in. So this has got to be steam out. Is that one steam in? Okay, steam out should be this one here, I'm pretty sure. Steam out, yes it is. All right, so what we'll do, um, we'll get rid of majority of this till about there. Okay, I don't know why it's coming up. We could probably change that. Uh, get rid of all of that, and we're going to connect it together through this way instead. Uh, so we'll turn that this way, come out one more, and bring this out to here, and we're going to join them up right there. Should be fine. Boop, awesome. So that's good. Now we need to copy what we've just done here. So we'll grab this all the way to there. That's the majority of it, yes. Copy that, and we're going to bring that up and chuck it right here. Boop, cool, paste her in, and merge it together, please. Thank you. All right, so this one's got to go onto this one here, I believe. Um, so we'll come up, get rid of all of this. All righty. Um, so this is also hot pipes. That can be red as well. That's a hot pipe. All right, let's go this way. Uh, we'll bring this around here and connect these together right in this corner here. We'll grab that. And we go like so. Awesome. Very good. So we can probably paint all these red. All right. That's all painted and they should work. Now we just need to connect up this, don't we? Um, so let's grab the pipe. We're going to bring it around this way. We should probably do it in orange too. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, so we'll go like this all the way along to there. We need to put some cross pieces in here and put some angles in orange going this way. We can do it on both sides too. It's not a bad idea. Boom, boom. Boop and boop. Cool. All right, so let's get the pipes that we need for the inside, and then we'll connect it all together, just like that. That looks pretty cool. Hopefully, that all works. We're going to give it a test before we do too much more. Um, I'll quickly just paint all of these. Everything's painted. It should be all good to go. I don't think there's anything we really need to connect up. No, that should be all good. All right, let's um, fill that in, and then we're going to give it a test and see if that works a little bit better. Also, just before we head out, we're actually going to change these gearboxes. Um, so we might just have three of them. So maybe we can get rid of one. Um, so we'll put a pipe there instead and go up like so. So we've got uh, three one, three one, and three one. Um, might, maybe we'll change this one down a little bit. We'll go three two and we'll give that a test and we can always come back and muck around with them after. But we'll see if this works a little bit better first. I'm aiming for about 3,500 watts coming out of that generator, hopefully. Uh, whoa, okay, this thing's listing slightly. It's leaning a little bit. That's all right. Um, we can sort that out. Let's go up and we'll give this a go. Oh, I could have just gone in down there. What am I doing, man? <laughs> we need to go back down this way um, in this door. I don't know why water's pooling here. It's a bit strange. But anyway, um, let's go downstairs. Yes, and we're going to turn all this on and see what the output is. All right, the temperature is going up past 100. What do we got on the output? Oh, it's going up. This is looking a little bit better. Keep going. Come on, get to 35. <laughs> That'd be really good. Uh, what are we at? 35, okay, nice, perfect. All right, let's see if that'll be enough. Jeez, that's loud in there, isn't it? I can barely get to that door as well. All right, that is very loud. Whew. All right, let's go upstairs, all the way up. Um, go out this door. Oop, it's a bit strange how it opens that way, but anyway. Um, we'll go right up. Jeez, I can hear that thing from up here. <laughs> it's loud. There's a few turbines now. All right, let's um, see what happens this time. So go full throttle. And it's holding charge, look at that. 
Awesome. That's a lot better. Very nice. All right, let's take this back before we can't. Okay, so I'm going to say that problem has been solved, which is really good. Um, nice, man. That's really good. So we have four medium motors powering this, and it can hold the charge, which is really, really good. Um, okay, cool. So what we might do, while we have a little bit of room, um, we're going to add some ballast on the back, I'm pretty sure is what we're going to do next. Um, how are we going to fit that in? I've got no idea. <laughs> um I might change these doors as well to just swing open doors. I think that might be a bit better. So we're going to need the room. Um, so we'll just use some hinge doors like this. And we'll just chuck them. Uh, actually, they can open this way. That's probably fine. Go like that and fill in that side piece. That should be all good. Yep, into there. And that will open back out. Okay, that's plenty of room. That's good. Um, this staircase looks a little bit ugly there. But anyway, there's not much I can really do about it. Um, all right, so we're going to try and have some ballast along the side here. Um, so this will be on both sides as well. So we're going to come up like that. Okay, that's a lot of water to hold, isn't it? <laughs> um, I don't even know if we're going to need that much, to be honest. But anyway, um, we've got the room. We may as well use it for something. We're going to come up a little bit more. And we'll come up to about here. Should be fine. And then we'll just fill in this little area like that. Boop. Cool. Alrighty. So this is going to be pumps full of water. And then we can pump the water out if we don't need it there. Um, should be pretty useful. Um, what we'll do, we'll put some pumps in on both sides. So we're going to have... Maybe just one in and one out should be enough. Maybe, probably won't be, but it'll be right. <laughs> um, so what we'll do, we'll have both the inputs. So the input's going to be on the bottom, isn't it? All right, so we'll have the input just sitting right here. Should be fine. Um, so that is fluid in. So we might just move it back a little bit. Um, so we'll sort this one out first. We'll put a port in um, right here. Should be just fine. Turn that around. And then it will just pump it straight in like that. That is no dramas at all. Very good. All right, so we'll just get a little pipe to connect that together. And that is that one finished. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, we're going to need one more in there. A little straight pipe. Stand it up like so. Awesome. So that will pump fluid in. Then we're going to have to have another one. It's going to come up just a little bit higher. So the output for that, we might just have... Oh, where else are we going to put this? So it's out of the way. Okay, what we might do, we might have it sitting right up here somewhere. Should be fine. Uh, we put it close to this one maybe up here. Should be right. And that way it can just come up into the floor and we'll never see it. Um, that might be a bit better. Um, so we'll put a couple going out the side like that, just like so. That's on both sides. Yes, it is. All right, and then we're going to have another pump all the way down in here. And we'll just go like, turn it around that way, and we'll go like that. Awesome. So we'll get some more pipes out, and we're going to connect all of this together. So we'll bring this around this way, and then that one will start to come up just like that. And we'll put a port on the end of here. Port, please. Uh, this one. And we'll go like that. Awesome. And then that's just going to come straight up. Um, get some more pipes all the way up to the port for the output. So that would dump the water out here. Reason it's so high up is because if it's down low, I don't think it has enough power to push the water out against the pressure on the hull. Um, I'm not really too sure, but yeah, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> so we'll go like this. We could probably just move this across one more. Be fine. Um, turn around that way and we'll just get a little pipe, a little angle and connect that like so. Awesome. So that should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, we will actually put a pipe here. Um, Full one in a block like so. And then what we're going to do, we don't need that there. We're going to fill in the side of this. Um, so we go all the way along like that. And over here, all the way to the end. This is a big ballast, isn't it? Far out. <laughs> That's huge. I don't know if it needs to be that big. But anyway, that is what we've got. Um, cool. That's probably going to swish around too much though, isn't it? Eh. It should be fine. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> um, what we do need to do, this side's a little... Oh no, it filled in. That's all good. Okay, so what we might do as well, we might put some little hatches just to get in there in case. Um, maybe just some little hinge hatches would probably be right. If we put them right here, it'd be refined. No, the pump's there. We won't be able to get to it. Um, we'll put them right here then. And we can sneak in. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we'll turn these up this way. Um, we'll go like this. That'll open towards the inside. That should be fine. Um, so that's on both sides. Yeah, that will work pretty well. Um, one more thing we might do. We might put some windows on these as well. Um, if we just go right here, should be good. Um, we'll just put a couple in just so we can see the water in there. Boop, boop. And just another little single window at the top will be just fine. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, we'll have to give this thing a bit of a paint as well at some point, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. All right, so what we will do, actually, we're going to paint this whole room, and then we're going to close it up and be finished with it for now. Um, then the only thing we really need to do is add some lights in. So I'm going to give this thing a quick paint, and I'll be back in a moment. 
Alrighty, guys, so that is all painted. Um, I'm not sure. I might try and break up the colors a little bit more at some stage, but we're going to leave it like that for now. So we just have that kind of bluey floor, um, some of this color on the wall, some gray lines and whatnot. Um, I think it looks pretty good, pretty tidy. Um, we might change this as well. Not sure. Anyway, that's how it's going to be for now. Um, so I'd like to move on to do a little bit of interior work. Oh, why is that that? There we go. Um, so I'm thinking maybe this room here will be our medical room. I think we might do. So um, let's get some medical beds and whatnot, if I could spell. Um, so some of these things. And maybe if we put a couple sideways along here. So if we build like a little a little thing to put them on for a minute, um, that won't be there at the end. Um, so we'll go like this, we'll chuck them one there and one maybe here. We can have a couple sideways. And then we can have a bit of medical equipment up on the wall there. So if we get rid of all of these, get rid of that, all of the, oopsie those as well and get rid of those all right that's pretty good um so what we'll do we get a few blocks and we'll just come along in here fill that in like so and then on the ends of each of these maybe we could go like this come out a couple and a couple more in here and there I'll just get rid of these ones and we'll get some little wedges and put them on the ends just make it look a little bit rounded on the end <laughs> i don't know we go something like this uh, boop, and boop, up like that um, that looks a bit weird actually, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's how it is. Um, so we're going to have a few little medical pieces up on the wall over here. Um, so what we could do, fill that in. Uh, right, so let's go to specialist equipment. Uh, right, what do we need? Oh, a couple of fire extinguishers, first of all, is pretty important. Um, in every room, it'd be nice. So we'll just put a couple on the wall. Maybe just there would be fine. Um, now we're going to need some defibs and a whole bunch of other stuff. So where is everything? Some first aid equipment. Um, we could probably put a few along the ends of the beds as well. Won't hurt. One, two, three. And we'll put a couple more over here as well. Boom, boom, boom. I uh, did that on both sides, didn't I? Perfect. <laughs> they can all go. Oh, that just there. Thanks. Uh, we'll put a few more up here as well. Turn them around the right way on both sides this time. We'll put maybe six more on the wall. Is that, that plenty? How much are these each? 50 bucks. Yeah, that's probably enough. We probably don't need that many. So a defib, we could probably have a couple over here. We just probably need two. That's probably plenty. Um, a heater wouldn't go astray either. Um, we could put one in the wall, maybe just there. It's probably fine. Is that in the middle? That's in the middle. That's a bit better. And a toggle button for that too. Uh, we just have that above it. It's probably fine. Um, now we could probably fill... What am I doing, man? We need just a block's fine. Thank you. Uh, we could probably fill that wall in just a little bit. We've got a lot of space there. Eh, what else can we add? Maybe some warm clothes is fine as well. We could probably add some of these in right there. Yes. Yeah, I don't think there's too much more we can really add. So what I might do, I might get rid of these and put them in here instead. Turn them up this way though. Perfect. That might look a little bit better once we paint it. Um, I would like some windows in here too. It'd be pretty good. So maybe we could put just a couple. Oh, it's a little bit low. Uh, we'll go like that anyway. And they're gonna, oh, they're kind of hidden behind there. That's all. Okay, we might put them up a little bit higher then if we come up like this. Just for this room, I know it's going to be... Oh, it should be head height, actually. Um, well, we'll use portholes. Um, so we'll chuck these in now. Go boop and boop. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Um, let's a little bit of light in, which I quite like. Um, we can't put too many windows on the front here, unfortunately. Uh, but that's fine. We could probably put something along the back here, too. Wouldn't go astray. Maybe like a little one like this. <laughs> um, so we could use one of these bigger ones and turn that around like so. Just so it lets a little bit more light in, which I quite like. So that looks pretty nice. Um, same thing up here as well, but I want to um, put a few bits and pieces in before we do that. So this is going to be our medic room. There's not much in here at all. Um, so let's finish it off quickly. We'll get a toggle button uh, for some lighting. So we could probably have the light sitting just on the wall here. Should be fine. That'll, that'll do. <laughs> that'll be fine. Uh, we'll chuck it right there. So that will be the lights. Just like that. Um, speaking of lights, we should probably put some in as well. And then we're going to give this room a bit of a paint. Um, so we won't need too much in here. We'll just go like that. And what, how many gaps we got? One, two, three, four. What if we go five? And then along that same row, we could have a five gap there. So we'll turn this around, face down, and like that. All right. Um, I'll connect that up. I'll give it a paint. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, this room is now finished. Um, the lights are connected. We have everything painted. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I also changed these doors from sliding doors to these normal ones. Um, I think that's a little bit better. Um, one thing I didn't do is connect this one up. So let's do that real quick and boop. All right, perfect. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to move downstairs again. We're going to go into this room here. Um, so 
with down here, I'd like half it to be kind of living quarters with like the beds and whatnot. And then the other half is going to have all our emergency equipment like welders, more fire extinguishers, some um, body armor and a few little bits and pieces. Um, so I think that should be pretty good. I don't know how much um, room we're actually going to need for all this, but I'll just fill it all in like that. Um, so plenty of room to play with, which is really good. Um, so how are we going to do this? I don't know what to use this little um, area here for either. Maybe we could store some guns and stuff in there. I don't really know. Uh, we'll work it out. <laughs> we'll get there. Anyway, um, so, so we've got a few different entrances and exits here. Um, so this area needs to be kept free sort of thing. Um, so maybe on this side over here, we could have a bedroom. It's probably not a bad idea. So we go like this and then we'll come along like so all the way up to about here. Um, yeah, that's probably plenty of room for a bedroom. And then we'll come along like that. Um, that needs to be up a little bit higher as well. Boop, up to there. Awesome. Um, so you walk in, you can come around the corner. I just don't know what to do with that little area. We'll work it out, but that's fine. Um, then we'll have a little doorway going in as well. So we'll get a door and we'll fill that in right now. Um, just the hinge door is fine. Uh, we'll make it stand up, please. Yep, just uh, this way. <laughs> uh, we'll go like that. That. There we go. Awesome. So we'll fill that in around there. This is a very um, tall room. <laughs> don't know why, but anyway. Uh, we'll fill that in and we'll do the same thing over here. So none of those came outside. Cool. Uh, we might put some corners on here too to make it look a little bit nicer at least. Um, like that. Awesome. Um, now we're going to do this on both sides. So I want it to be sort of symmetrical. Oh, what are we going to do with that? Big ugly mess. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, we're going to put a window maybe right here. We'll put a porthole in. Um, so grab this and turn it up that way. Cool. Awesome. Oh, it's right on there though. Ah. Oh. That's annoying. Um, hmm. I might change that. I don't. I don't want it to be right in the middle of that line. Unless we change the line, actually. Let's put the window back in, and we might muck around with the line a little bit. We'll change it slightly. Um, so if we start coming up, maybe before the window. So if the window can stay blue, that'd be really good. So if we come up, maybe three here, three there, and then hmm, we we'll come three there. Uh, something like this. Let me muck around for it for a moment. And I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I think that looks fine. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, at least the window's not in the way there because I wanted to put a window here. Um, so now what I'll do, I'll go on just the one side. Um, we'll put a bed right here, I suppose. It won't be fine. That'll be right, yeah. Um, that won't be in the way of anything. So let's get our bed out. Um, just a regular one, please. Chuck it right here. Uh, I don't really know what else to put in here. We could probably put a few little clothes and whatnot, but I'm not really too worried about taking up all the room in here. It's only a bedroom. Um, we will put a toggle button in for the light, though. Um, so we'll just chuck that on the wall. Just here should be fine. Turn that around. Boop. Nice. And we'll put a couple lights in at the same time. Um, maybe just one. Do we just need one light? Or should we have two? Is that is that the middle right here? Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, we'll turn the light around and have it shine in right here. So just the one light for the bedroom is enough. Awesome. Um, we should probably give this thing a paint. I might do it when we do the rest of the place. Um, so next, I would like to have some sort of spot to keep our weapons. So what I might do if we come along like this, maybe, or maybe back one more. If we go like that, and then we'll have a little thing that comes up here. And this will be where our weapons are going to be kept. Um, so we're going to come up again there. And then that will be just a wall along like that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so let's get some wedges out. Um, if we go like, or actually, what we could do. We might bring it back a couple more like this, perhaps. So what I mean by that, if we go along like this, turn these around like that and do a similar thing, actually maybe about here and we'll come all the way to maybe there, that'll be fine. And then we'll turn this around. Ugh, this is a bit strange, I know. <laughs> uh, we'll go like that and then we're gonna fill in all those corners with some of these inverse pyramids. All right, something like that. I just had to move it back one because there was a block in the way there. Um, and what I might do also, I might get rid of this and then we come up like that and then we'll put some more wedges on that corner piece there. Um, make it look a little bit better. That's fine. Um, so this is going to have our specialist equipment rather than weapons. I might put weapons in a separate spot somewhere away from this. This is going to be very easily accessible. Um, so let's go to specialist equipment. Uh, Find extinguishers first. They're quite important. So we'll put a couple of these in. Turn them up the right way. It'd be great. Two of those. Um, a welder isn't a bad idea either. So we'll chuck that right here. And a underwater welder isn't a bad idea either. Uh, we should probably have some more of those downstairs too, which we will put down there. Um, and we're going to need a firefighting suit down here as well. Just in case, you never know. 
Um, there's a lot of heat down there, and I don't want to, um, anything to happen. <laughs> it might catch on fire. I don't know. And let's go like that. So that's where that will be kept. So we could probably put something else up there. I'm not sure what at the moment. Um, anyway, we're going to move on to the weapons section now. All right, guys. So I've just put a wall along here, and we're going to have a doorway that goes in something like that. And then you walk in here, and this will be where most of the weapons are going to be kept. Um, so what we'll do, we'll get a door first. Uh, we might just use a sliding door. It's probably fine for this spot. Um, so we'll just open up a little bit more area. And we'll chuck it right here. That'll be fine. And we'll block that back in. Nice. So this will be the weapons room. You walk in here. And we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff. So weapons. Actually, we'll go to specialist equipment. Um, so we're going to need a whole bunch of C4 as well. Just in case we ever need this kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not sure how I want to set all this out. We might just start by slapping a few things on the wall and see how we go. Um, so what we'll do, we'll put a few little bits and pieces over here. Can I make that stand up? Yep, something like that. If we have a few of these, maybe... 9, 10, 11, 12. How much are these each? 50 bucks. Yeah. And a detonator. We'll have um, just one. It should be all we need. It's upside down though. <laughs> um, hopefully we don't lose that one because we're definitely going to need it at some point. Um, we'll fill that in as well. All right, so that will be on that wall. And over here, we might have some rifles. Um, rifle, we'll just chuck it in the wall. Can I do the same sort of thing as over here? Two and three. Two, three. So here, is that the area? That should be fine. Um, we'll open up a little bit of an area here. Uh, we'll chuck our gun on the wall right there. Nice. And we'll get some ammo as well. Fill it all in. Um, is that up? Yeah, that's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, not in there. Eight, nine. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a bit basic, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, back to specialist equipment. Um, some armor would probably be a good idea. What's all the difference between all this? Um, so this limits movement speed and... This says when equipped damage from projectiles, the body is slightly reduced. Uh, okay, we could probably take this, put some of these somewhere. Um, put maybe a few things along this wall. Um, put that in there. What else have we got? Um, a hazmat is probably a good idea as well. <laughs> you never know. Uh, what else have we got? Um, we might chuck one of these in as well. It significantly um, decreases movement speed, but it might be something we may need at some point. So we'll put that in as well. Um, none of these are centered. Let me move all this over a little bit and get that in the middle. Just like that. That's a bit better. And merge that together. And we'll just fill in around it. Okay. Very basic. But it's all we really need, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're going to need too much more. Um, we are going to need some more extinguishers and stuff. I don't think we need them in here, though, because we've got them right outside there. Should be fine. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to give this room and our little weapons room here a bit of a paint. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys. So down here is all finished. We have our lights in. Everything's painted. I think there's a lot of this color around, but anyway. <laughs> uh, and this little weapons room is done as well. I still don't know what color I'm going to do the roof. It might leave it white. I'm not sure. We'll see how we go. Um, I also put some lights down in the engine room here. And our little switch for it is on the wall, which I have not painted. And there we go. And boop. Awesome. Um, so that is all done. Um, now, what I would like to do at the moment is sort out what we're going to put up here. So we're going to need like a little mast and whatnot. Because um, inside we're going to have some monitors with maps on it and stuff. And some cameras. We're going to need spotlights and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm not sure how much that we're going to get done today. Um, but I'd like to get as much done as possible. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go back into this mode. Um, so maybe we can get rid of these at the back here. And we might stand up, uh, maybe if we get some... Or what if we keep using these and we go up like this, except for this one at the back here, comes up two blocks. And because I would like to maybe put some railing in the back there, that's all. Um, we'll see how we go. We go like this. That's probably fine. <laughs> um, we'll stand this up and see what it looks like. Boop. Just like so. That's probably fine. And we can come up like that. Uh, uh, I don't know if I like that. I think it's up a little bit too high. Uh, but we are going to need railing up here, that's all. So maybe we can get rid of a few of these and we can do that whole height all the way along. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so maybe something like that. I think that looks okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. We have still have room to get up inside, which is really good. Let's paint that. Um, yeah, so it kind of protects us from falling off. Um, that being said, it doesn't really do much for the front, does it? So maybe we can get a few little wedges just to make it look a little bit better then for when we do fall off. <laughs> no, hopefully we don't. Um, we'll go like this and we'll just fill that in. Yeah, that, that's probably fine. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we'll just paint the top of this as well, just like so. Um, so right in the middle here, I'd like to have some sort of mast thing to hold our sensors and stuff. So we'll come up maybe here. That's probably way too high and wide. Uh, we'll come up about there. Might be a bit better. Awesome. And we'll put a few of these ones on the back. Uh, we'll come up like 
This is probably fine. They kind of meet together here. Um, now we somehow need to join this up. Okay, something like that. that doesn't look too bad. Um, and then we could probably join it in the middle. And we could come out a couple blocks with some of these, perhaps. So if we go like this, and then another one here. Uh, how are we going to do this? Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and we'll put a few little sensors and stuff on the top um, for our map and whatnot. Yeah, I quite like that. And next episode, we're going to put all the sensors and whatnot on that and finish off the inside. Um, while we're on the topic of the inside, though, I might quickly... Do I have room to put a window here-ish? Oh, yeah, we could probably squeeze something in. Uh, all right, what if we go like that on each side? That'll clear the door and the ladder, which is really good. So we'll get a porthole out and we'll just slap that right there. Very nice. I quite like that. I'm very happy with it. Um, and we do need lights in here as well. So we might just quickly do that. And we could probably have a couple here and a couple there. Um, make them face down. Oh, it's pouring rain here. I hope you guys can't hear that. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, we'll get a toggle button out as well. And we'll slap that on the side right here should be fine uh boop, awesome and we'll connect that up to all these lights up here um now we're all over the place i know but the last thing we want to do is fix up this rudder situation oh and they don't need to be there i don't know what they're doing yeah <laughs> get out of here man all right that's gone that's better all right so we need more rudders down the back because this one is not cutting it <laughs> it's not doing anything actually um so what we might do what if we um make a little spot here this will be where our new rudders are going to sit um, and we could possibly grab this one, we'll copy that, and we'll just paste it right here, put one there, and we'll put one there as well, boop, awesome, um, I have nothing to connect them to just yet, so what we'll do, we'll get some blocks, and should be able to merge them now, yep, awesome, that one as well, all right, very good, now we need to make this sort of connect up underneath the propeller, um, uh, so how on earth are we going to do that, I don't know, maybe we can run some blocks out like this, we don't want them to be clipping through the propeller, that's all, um right so if we go like that and then we could probably get a wedge out and we'll sit it on the bottom uh, yep something like that yep actually we might move it back one block if we go here and then what we'll do we get a few more uh, pieces out and we'll try and fill in this area a little bit yeah just like so and we might try and stand up a block here a wedge right there make it look sort of connected if we can and then that's gonna have to flow back into the body of the boat um something like that so that's on each side that looks pretty okay i think we just need to fill in the middle here with some more of these let's go like that yeah that, that's fine we just need to fix up the top now um also we do have this little room left over which i don't know what we're going to do with but anyway um if you guys have any ideas feel free to let me know uh we might just fill that in at the top there uh maybe a few wedges won't hurt either go like this boop and boop oh yeah that's that's pretty cool oh no no we can't do that can we we have to put some little wedges in i think um if we go like this and that, and then we'll just put another block in here and here. That should be fine, similar to that middle one, um, except the middle one doesn't have these pieces coming down, but it doesn't need it, does it? Oh, well. Um, so what we'll do, we'll paint all of this all in here and on the other side. And I'm going to connect everything we've done to some electricity, and then we're going to take it out for a spin and see how it goes. All right, so I think that's everything we're going to need for now all connected up. So what we'll do, we're going to save all of that. Yes, and we're going to spawn it in and see how it goes. Hopefully, it goes a lot better now. All right, so we'll go and run and jump on. Oh, it sits a bit low in the water. Oh, it's tipping over a bit too. Oh, we better fix that. Uh, okay, make sure I do that next episode. <laughs> uh, so let's go and jump on. Whee! Boop! Um, I don't think we need those weight blocks on the bottom either anymore once we um, connect up the ballast system. But anyway, um, that'll be for another day. I'm trying to get this um, boat done as quick as possible. But at the same time, it sort of takes a lot of time out of each episode. Like, it takes me... Well, I've been recording for like an hour and a half and this is all we've filled it done. But anyway. <laughs> um, so, we'll get this thing moving. Um, let's go forwards. We'll get out on the ocean a little bit. Yes, we'll go full throttle. Ow. Awesome, look at that. Uh, it's sitting very low in the water. Very low, way lower than what I'd like. Um, anyway, we'll stop about here. Awesome. So we go and turn on the um, generators. Um, so we head downstairs. We on the way down, we might go through all our rooms and have a look at them. Oh yeah, this looks nice, doesn't it? We turn some lights on. Awesome. Very bright. Cool beans. Does this heater work? Yes, it does. Awesome. Um, we keep going down to the next level. Hello. Uh, turn these lights on as well. Yep, all works. I don't know if I connected that. Oh, I didn't paint in here. <laughs> <laughs> our horrible little bedroom that has water on the outside of it cool um shut that uh yeah it looks pretty nice um we're going here very plain room but you know it works it's fine 
Uh, does what we need it to do. Let's go downstairs. Whoop. All in here. I'll turn these lights on too. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Very plain in here though, isn't it? Ugh. Anyway, uh, we'll turn this all on and get some power coming in. Um, we have these as well. We can jump in here. Yep, okay, cool. So we can actually um, get in and weld the side of the ship if we ever need to and fix things up. Very good. Shut that. Um, haven't done anything in here yet because we have no controllers. <laughs> so there's no point mucking around in here until we've done that. All right, we shut that door. And we'll give this a second to heat up. All right, they're starting to spool up now. I can hear them all going. Um, let's get this thing to 3,500 watts. Everything's going up, which is very good. Um, so they're about 8, 9 RPS, are they? 8, 9. Okay, yep, cool. All right, there's our 3,573. Awesome. So let's go back upstairs and we'll shut that door. Let's go back upstairs. Uh, let's go up through here. Why not? And all the way up. Open up this door. Head outside. And we'll go up our little ladders. Jeez, that's loud. Far out, that's loud. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys could hear me in there. Um, we will be painting in here, obviously. But next episode, we're going to put our monitors and whatnot in. Our cameras and everything else. Um, so we'll leave that for now. All right, full throttle. Go. Ow. Pushes itself out of the water. Cool. Very nice. Um, everything works very well. Let's test these rudders out, see if that's any better. Uh, yeah, I mean, it works. <laughs> uh, oh, that's probably fine, actually. We may put some bow thrusters on at some point as well. Um, or some little, and, or oh, and maybe some little control surfaces at the front to help it turn a bit better. And maybe even some more control surfaces to help push the back up when we throttle, um, when we go full throttle as well. But um, that is working pretty well. Um, so for now, guys, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching today's video. Hopefully by next episode, I've sorted out how to do the nets and whatnot. So maybe we can muck around with that and put some monitors in our cab. Um, that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.